Hey guys, welcome to the last video in the multi-tenant RLS auth video series. Now, in the last video, we saw how to leverage all of the security features we've implemented so far. And right now we have a really great CRUD app. In this video, we're going to be cleaning things up and we will deploy the app and do a quick walkthrough of the application. So let's jump right into it. My name is Confidence and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. All right, so this is the current state of our application. And really, um, we need to fix a few things right now. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to give our app a title, and we also need to configure a flow for users to log out whenever they need to. So let's start with giving our app a title. I am just going to grab a text widget. All right, I'm going to place this right here, and I'm going to call this the to-do app. All right, and for this style, I'll make sure this is very large. And okay, I think we can actually go larger. No, no, that's too large. So we'll go with this and I'll make sure it's centered. And I think that looks good. Now our app has a title, but it's still missing a logout flow in case users want to log out from the app, for example. So let's fix that. Uh, the first thing we need to do is write a function that will enable users to log out. And it's going to be a simple function because our login flow or our auth flow depends on the user's JWT token. So to log out, what we need to do is delete the user's token and then navigate them to the login page and they should be good to go. So let's actually add that into the app.js file. We're going to have one more function here and it's going to be called the logout function. So this is going to be log out and it's going to be an async function. Really, we don't have to make this an async function. So it can just be um, a regular function. And what we want to do here is we want to delete the user's token from the store. So I'm going to do a return, uh, remove value. So we want to delete the user's token from the store. And the user's token is saved in a key called token. All right, and then we want to navigate the user to the login page. So we want to do a navigate to, and this is going to be the login page. And with that, we are good to go. So this is the login function, and it's as simple as you can see here. We need a button on the UI for users to be able to log out, rather, that's the logout function. So let's grab an icon button widget, all right? And for the icon, I'm going to use the logout icon so I can say log out or sign out icon. All right, that's the logout icon. That looks good. I'm going to set the style to secondary and I think that looks good. Heading back to the button, we want this to actually execute the logout function. So on click, we want to go to the app.js file and we want to execute the logout function, which is exactly what we want. Then the last thing I'm going to do is make sure that my canvas size is set to desktop. So I'm going to go ahead to set this and I'm going to go ahead to click on the logout button and we should be taken to the login page, which is exactly what we want. So our app is almost good to go, but we need to change just one more thing because if we go ahead to deploy the app as is right now, so let's deploy it. You notice that both the login page and the home page is visible to the end user. That's not really what we want. We only want the home page to be visible when the user logs in. Because I can, for example, click on the button here and you can see I could see the home page for just a second before I was taken to the login page. So we need to be able to fix that. And that's really easy to fix. So I'm going to head back here. So let's go to the um, application, for example. I'm going to go to app settings and for the home page, we want this to be hidden. Um, I'm not seeing the option right here. So I think what I need to do is go to the page options here and set it to hidden. So now it's going to be hidden as you can see. And if we go ahead to redeploy this app and head back to the other tab, you notice that we don't have the home page accessible on the nav bar. We only have access to the login page, and this is exactly what we want our users to be able to see. So now that this is done, we can actually go into 
and take this very speed. So for example, I'm going to log in as Bihar. So this is going to be Bihar and type in the password. All right, I'm going to click on the submit button. And right here, you can see that we have only records owned by Bihar showing up in the application. And of course, I can go to logouts, for example, and let's log in as confidence at appsmith.com and type in my password. And I'm going to submit this. And you can also see that we have records owned by Confidence showing up in the app. So we have our app done right now. And this is really, really good to see. All right, so this has been a really awesome video series to put together. And I'm happy we were able to show you how to set up multi-tenant apps using RLS on your SQL-based databases. Now, if you have more ideas for us to try out, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear your ideas and also make videos on them. And of course, all of the resources used for the videos, that's the app, the commands, and the database dump, which you would need uh, if you just want to follow along with this video series, will be linked in the description below. So go check it out if you need access to the resources. All right, so it was lovely putting this together. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.